Hi, my name is Stephen McGee and I'm the author of Curing Electromagnetic Hypersensitivity. And we're going to take a look into the electromagnetic field emissions from the CardioNet MCOT belt mounted monitor. As you can see, we actually have a message on this monitor. It's actually informing us that we actually have a wire off the pendant. So this device comes in two parts. So this part is the main part that is a cell phone and it transmits the readings to CardioNet. Now the other part is worn around the neck and hangs above your chest and it's a pendant device and it's a wireless radio frequency transmitter which communicates with this box and it sends this box your heart meter readings. And this device is commonly referred to as a halter device in the medical profession. So we're going to test it with a number of electromagnetic field meter meters that we have here. And we're going to start with this one. This is a Trifield 100 XE. Many people use this meter who research wireless radiation. And we're going to start with a magnetic field reading of this device. And we're going to start on the 0 to 100 range. Let's see what the device is doing. So you can see it has a electromagnetic magnetic field emission from it. And we're happily pulsing away. It's a very regular pulse coming out of this device. Let me just put this on its side. And the orientation can affect the meter reading, but you can see that there's quite a bit of distance that this emission goes. As we get closer, the field emission gets stronger. Okay, so let's try it on the zero to three range. And let's see what happens. So on the zero to three range, we're actually picking up on the device. We're about six inches away. Let's bring it close and see what happens. Okay, we're off the scale now. And the meter's going crazy at that distance. And I'm actually going to take it about a foot away from the unit. Okay, we're still picking up on the field emission a foot away. I'm going to take it about two feet away. And there's a slight pulsation two feet away. But when we bring it up close, there's a very, very big disturbance taking place. So let's try the electric field setting. So the electric field setting is not really picking up uh, much unless it's really close. Okay, so we're picking up on something there. And sometimes you have to, you have to see whether it's you or whether it's the device. So it may actually be me because I have an electric field on my body. And when I get close to the meter, the meter picks up on that electric field. So it's probably not emitting an electromagnetic electric field, as far as I can tell. So let's try the last setting, which is the radio and microwave setting. Let's see if we can pick up on any emissions out of it. Okay, so there's a slight pulse on the radio and microwave setting. So let's try our next meter. Okay, let's turn that off. Here's our heart monitor. And this one is, so we're getting an alarm. We need to silence it. It's just telling us that the white wire is off. So we silence the alarm. Now the next meter is this meter. So this is an electrosmog meter made by Cornet. And what we're going to do is we're going to switch it on to volts per meter. Okay, so that's our reading. So we have a little bar graph over here. This gives us this green, yellow, red, gives us a warning of how serious the power levels are. We have a little bar graph historical reading for about 10 seconds. And you see we're getting pulsed radiation coming out of this device. 
and it also tells us the actual voltmeter reading over here. So what I'm going to do is, given that we have such a small display on this, I'm just going to bring it up close and we can see what it's doing. So it's right at the back right now. So you can see we're getting some pretty significant radio frequency radiation readings coming out of this. So let's see how far they extend. So I'm going to hold this over here and we can pull it away. It says we get further away, it drops down. And to get that to go down into the green, we have to take it over a foot away. So bring it back, and back into our red range. So most definitely a pulsating radio wave field coming out of this box and let's remember you wear this on your belt so it's very close exposure to the body so our next test meter is the AM radio we're in Tucson Arizona there's no radio station at AM 530 and we're going to turn it on and we're going to see whether we can pick up any disturbances on the AM static band So as you could hear, it wasn't too bad. So this actually tests pretty good in the AM static band. And the last meter that I'm going to test this unit with is a telephone voice pickup coil and an amplifier. So let's turn it on. Let's put that down there. And let's see what happens when we put this voice coil near to the device. So there's definitely a field emission out of it. Let's turn it over and do it again. So it's not too bad. So that's our CardioNet NCOT cell phone based heart monitor and the various emissions that we were able to detect out of it. If you want to find out more information on the subject, you'll find it in Curing Electromagnetic Hypersensitivity. I hope you enjoyed the presentation and I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.